The Growdle Glen was having a bit of a problem after reopening. More people frequent less, and they were losing money. But with some tourists that come to the line, they could only use so much to keep their two locomotives operating. In 1960, Polar Bear was having problems making up steam. Since he didn't have an owner like Roger, maintenance was a big issue. How are you feeling, old chap? Roger asks Polar Bear. <sighs> Not quite. He was upset and angry. Don't get too upset. My crew donated their paychecks to keep you running. He told the 55-year-old locomotive. While it was true that Roger's crew donated some of their money from their paychecks to keep Polar Bear in good running condition, it wasn't enough. I could take the next train, he told Roger. Are you sure? Asked Roger. He was worried about Polar Bear. I'm confident, he told the older Avonside. A special visitor is coming. Who is it? Roger asked eagerly. A clergyman that writes books. He might write a book on us, he said happily. At the station, the Finn clergyman and a group of railway enthusiasts were waiting for Polar Bear to be coupled up to the train. This was the most passengers that the railway had had in recent years. But when Polar Bear was coupled to the train, the guard blew his whistle. But a clunking sound and steam blew out of the cab of Polar Bear. Steam escaped from the cab and the crew leaped out on time. What happened? Polar Bear asks. You blew your safety valve, and your cylinder cracked. He told Polar Bear. Oh no. Polar Bear said sadly. After the crew talked with the manager, the railway decided that Roger and his coach Mary would take the train. The two were already at the station and coupled onto the train. The Finn clergyman was impressed on how the situation had cleared up and took a ride on Mary. The special visitor train went smoothly, and the clergyman thanked them for their service. Polar Bear felt embarrassed after what had happened, but the manager told him it wasn't his fault. The next day, a special gift was donated to the railway, a cheque with £1,500. The railway staff were thrilled about this offer. It was enough to fix the problems that Polar Bear had had. It was enough. What a great gift from the clergyman! said Roger happily. With the celebration, the two locomotives were photographed by the staff, side by side. It has been a lucky day, and a day to remember.